Hi to everyone who's come to read my story. I'm Blair, and just last night I decided to share my own story about my mother-in-law, Renee, with you guys. This is going to be a juicy story, so hold on to your seats. Archer, my husband, is the absolute love of my life, but his mother is a walking disaster who hates me with all her being. My mother-in-law, Renee, is an extremely hateful woman who burned a lot of bridges in her life. I truly believe she has some sort of mental health problem that she absolutely refused to get checked out. Her carry antics and insane controlling issues made my father-in-law, Victor, divorce her a few years back. Victor had warned me about her. He said, you need to be a little careful about your soon-to-be mother-in-law, Blair. She is a nutcase. I have met her already, Victor. I know how she is. Besides, even Archer had given me plenty of warnings. I don't know why you two even put up with her. I only stayed in the marriage long enough to see Archer graduate. After that, no power on earth could keep me with her. To be honest, it is still very difficult to be with her dad, but... She's still my mom. We still want a relationship with her. I'm hoping she'll come to her senses and accept Blair. That seems highly unlikely, Archer, especially because of the fact that she is going around the city claiming that your relationship won't last. Also, heads up, she is back in contact with your ex, Archer. She's planning something. Now that information got our heads reeling. Like I said, Renee hated me and wanted Archer to break up with me. She also kept telling him how his ex, who cheated on him, was his true love. But we never realized she was serious about that. We had no idea she was actually back in contact with the ex. I had a feeling that our recent engagement had something to do with this. Archer's ex kept trying to get back with him, so Renee must have joined hands with her. The very possibility was scary to think about. Archer felt that same way. After receiving information about Renee's contact with Archer's ex, my fiancé had a big fight with his mom. He had told her to stop with her antics and accept the fact that he was getting married to me. Renee didn't like that one bit and had called to threaten me. She had said, You think you can take my son away from me, Blair? You are dead wrong. I will freaking destroy your relationship. You are freaking crazy. Do you know that, Renee? I have tried for years to have a relationship with you, but you have treated me very unfairly. I don't even know what to say to you anymore. Do yourself a favor and get out of my son's life. I won't let you marry him. I can promise you that. I didn't take Renee's threat lightly. I had immediately informed Archer, who was even more furious about this. After that incident, we had very little contact with Renee. Renee was still adamant about breaking us up. She kept trying to set Archer up on dates with his ex and even showed up to his workplace with her. Things were slowly escalating and we were going mad. But when we all got invited to a family party, Victor revealed something even more problematic. He showed up to our house and said, Guys, Renee's been planning to bring Archer's ex to the party. And... She's been telling everyone that he's engaged to her. What the hell, Dad? How do you know this? Renee told a mutual friend her plan who didn't agree with her, so the friend came up to me and told me to warn you. Thank you for telling us, Archer. Now, I really don't want to be at the party. I just can't take her drama anymore. It's like I'm constantly in a state of worry about what she will do next. Oh, no, 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 Blair. Why would you back out of a party when Renee is the problem? All we have to do is just take the limelight away from her and show her that she doesn't own us. Do you have a plan, Dad? I don't know what to do. It would be of great help if you support us. Of course I will support you two guys. You are the best couple I know. Don't worry, Renee won't have a chance to talk about you since I will be bringing my girlfriend to the party as well. Now, the thing is that my mother-in-law was still in love with my father-in-law. She had tried her best to stop the divorce, but Victor hadn't listened to her at all. Renee still has the dream of getting back with him and thinks that they belong with each other. At other events, she has thrown tantrums when Victor brought his girlfriends or dates. 
she also made some pretty pathetic attempts at getting him back. Victor was so pissed off and done with Renee's shit that he stopped keeping contact with her altogether and came to mutual events alone. She never got the hint and still tries to pretend that they are on a break. I guess that was one of the reasons why she desperately wanted Archer's ex to get back with him. She was probably projecting. Anyway, her entire plan was pretty absurd and we were all pissed about it. Victor's plan was starting to look like a good way to shut Renee up. He said, It's time I bring my girlfriend and introduce her to everyone. Renee has been going around calling herself my wife and it's getting on my nerves. Seriously, Dad? Mom has been saying that stuff? This is ridiculous. Is that why you don't bring your girlfriend to any party? Yes. I stopped bringing my girlfriends to events because we both wanted to avoid conflicts. But... We have no reason to hide anyone or be scared of Renee. It's time she understands that we are in the past. If you go through with this plan, Renee might make a scene at the party. Are the hosts okay with that? Don't worry, Blair. I'll talk to them and make sure they are comfortable with this. Also, I will be announcing my engagement to my girlfriend there. Renee won't have the chance to spoil the party for you. I will make sure of it. Victor's plan was truly amazing. He had been taking Renee's shit for a long time now and something needed to be done. The fact that he chose to tell us about Renee's plans and how we could stop her antics proved how much he cared about both me and Archer. He could have easily avoided this conflict since it's not his problem. Still, he chose to help us get some petty revenge against Renee. After Victor left, I decided that I needed to have a serious conversation with Archer about his mom. He knew this conversation was coming and his face told me that he wanted it to happen that day itself. So, I took the initiative to begin the conversation and said, Archer, I've given your mother plenty of chances to improve her behavior. Instead, she ended up making plans to humiliate me in public. This is not fair, Archer. I understand that, Blair. I'm surprised my mom would take things so far. She didn't like my ex back when we were dating. I don't even know why she's doing this. She hadn't expected us to last, let alone get engaged. It's bugging her that you have been standing up for me. I guess she saw this as a way to stop our engagement. I think you're right about that. God, I wish my mom wasn't so complicated. She is literally ruining our relationship and I don't even know if I want her around anymore. That was exactly what I wanted to hear from Archer. I was glad that he was starting to see how cutting off his mother would be a good idea. I was dreading having Renee in our lives after all the stunts she pulled to break us up. I didn't trust her and I wanted nothing to do with her anymore. This was my chance to make sure we didn't give Renee another opportunity to humiliate us or try to cause problems. So I said, I agree with you, Archer. I really don't want Renee around anymore. I've taken enough of her antics and got humiliated multiple times already. I think going no contact, at least for now, would be best. I understand that, Blair. Mom had been given a lot of chances already. She's proven that she won't change. I have already asked enough of you and saw how many times you were humiliated because of me. I should have stood up for you sooner. You did try your best, but what can we do? At least people won't be able to tell us that we cut her off without giving her a chance to change. But this has to stop now. We need to cut her off before she ends up causing trouble at the wedding. Yes, I've been worried that she would do something stupid to mess up the wedding too. We'll definitely go no contact with her for now. And if you feel uncomfortable, we can even disinvite her from the wedding. That is a good idea, since I don't want any unnecessary drama at our wedding. But let's see what Renee does at the party. Then you can decide. She's your mom, so I want you to decide what to do. I was feeling really happy after my conversation with Archer. It made me realize that I had chosen the right man. He was willing to go to great lengths to make sure Renee never caused problems again. But I knew he was sad about his mom, so I wanted him to make the decision. Parents are a sensitive spot for us, so it would be best for Archer to make this decision. 
However, given my history with Renee, I was pretty confident she would mess up royally, and Archer would disinvite her from the wedding. With all our plans set, it was finally time for us to attend the party. Victor had called us to say that the host was in complete agreement with us. The hosts were family members who were forced to invite Renee because of social etiquette. They adored me and Archer, so the news of Renee causing trouble really got on their nerves. Thankfully, they agreed to support us and teach Renee a good lesson. The party was already in full swing when we arrived. Victor told us that he would be late because of work. I was already dreading seeing Renee, but sought her out anyway. The moment I spotted her across the room, I saw that she was smirking at me. Besides her was Archer's ex, who was also eyeing me with a jealous expression on her face. Archer held my hand as we walked up to Renee. She excitedly dragged Archer by the arm towards their group and said, There you are, Archer. Where have you been all this while? God, you are so late. It was rude of you to leave my daughter-in-law alone like this. Mom, what the hell are you talking about? I arrived with your daughter-in-law just now. Blair is right behind me. We would have walked in together if you hadn't dragged me away. I don't want to know about Blair, Archer. No, you should be here giving company to my poor daughter-in-law. She has been eagerly waiting for you. Everyone here has been dying to ask you about your wedding plans. Yes, I heard this conversation when I was slowly walking up to them. Several people around Renee genuinely believe that Archer's ex is now his fiance. They were asking Archer and his ex about their wedding plans and Renee was supplying false information freely. Archer was dumbfounded and looked like he really didn't believe his mom would actually do this. I knew that it was time for me to introduce myself and clear out everyone's misconceptions. I went up to everyone and said, Hello everyone, I'm Blair, Archer's fiancé. I see there's been a misconception about who Archer is engaged to. I hope this clears it up. Stop talking trash, Blair. And don't you dare insult my daughter-in-law like that. Did you hit your head or something, Renee? I am your daughter-in-law. It seems like you've been having a hard time remembering who Archer is engaged to. Looks like you've been introducing the wrong woman as your daughter-in-law. Oh, please, your relationship is a sham. It won't last anyway, so people don't have to know you. This girl here is my real daughter-in-law, and only she has the right to be called that. Renee said those words like she meant it. Her hate for me was so profound that she was ready to publicly humiliate not only me, but also her son. Archer's ex was smiling at me creepily the whole time while encouraging Renee to call her the real daughter-in-law. It made sense that the two delusional people would stick together. I was starting to see why Archer always stayed the heck away from this girl. She was downright psychotic to go along with Renee's ridiculous plans and act like she was going to be Archer's wife. She even dared to put her arms on Archer, who instantly swatted it away and angrily said, What the hell is going on here, Mom? Have you freaking lost your mind? Stop playing games with my relationship. I'm not playing games, Archer. You are the one who is wasting his time on a useless girl. Blair isn't fit for our family or for you. You should be with your real girlfriend. My real daughter-in-law loves you so much. I don't freaking care how much she loves me. I love Blair and she is my fiancé. I'm so sorry, everyone. My mother has gone completely crazy. Blair is the one I am engaged to. Archer told everyone the truth and formally introduced me to them. The guests were stunned and looked confused. Renee was fuming and so was Archer's ex. Archer had straight up called them crazy and corrected everyone about me. The guests also were starting to look very unimpressed with Renee. Everyone already knew what a psycho she was, so it wasn't difficult for them to realize her lies. Renee, however, hadn't given up. She said, Archer? You are being very disrespectful to your real fiancé. Stop waving your joke of an engagement in front of her face. You are using Blair to hurt her. This is very unfair. Mom, I've had enough of your antics. You are lucky you're in public, otherwise I would have seriously made a scene here. You have no right to humiliate me and Blair like that. Archer, you are being extremely stupid. 
You need to see how much this girl loves you and be with her. Blair won't be a good wife to you. You need to break up with her and finally get together with your true love. This is meant to be, Archer. You will stop talking to me right now, Mom. I'm at the end of my wits and my patience is running thin. Don't make me do something drastic. You shouldn't have brought my ex here. I will never forgive this. Oh my God, Archer. I can't believe you're threatening your mother for a gold digger and home wrecker like Blair. She doesn't deserve you, Archer. Blair is intentionally coming between you and your true love. You have to open your eyes and see that. Renee was being super loud and drew everyone's attention. Literally all the guests at the party were hearing our conversation. There were many curious whispers and no one knew who to believe. I was already feeling extremely humiliated and praying for Victor to come soon. Archer was trying his best to fight for me, but his mother was saying some really vile stuff about me. So I gathered my courage and said, Wow, Renee, you seem to have a lot of knowledge of how to be a home wrecker. I guess years of practice finally taught you something in life. What the hell do you mean, Blair? It's just that I find it funny that you accuse me of being a home wrecker when you are one yourself. You think I don't know how you tried to sabotage Victor's relationships and tried to get back with him? You have no idea what you're talking about. Victor and I are together now. I am his real wife. There had been some misunderstandings between us, but we will get back together soon. Is that so, Renee? Then tell me why I see Victor walking in with a beautiful lady on his arm. Rene looked in alarm, while everyone else also turned to see Victor walking in with his new girlfriend. I saw it because he hadn't introduced her to anyone because of my crazy mother-in-law. However, today was the day when we all showed Rene who was in charge, and it certainly wasn't her. Rene started to have tears in her eyes when she saw Victor lovingly introduce his new girlfriend to whoever was near him. Immediately, she discarded her plans to sabotage my relationship and instead focused on Victor. She tearfully walked up to Victor and said, Victor, who the hell is she? Why do you have an unknown woman on your arm? Well, this is my girlfriend, Renee. She will actually be my fiancé in a few days. I don't have the right yet, so I haven't been able to propose. What are you saying, Victor? I am your wife. You cannot marry this witch. Only I am entitled to be your wife. Renee's. like a mad woman. Anyone who didn't know the full story would easily think that Victor was cheating on Renee or something. My dear mother-in-law was in some serious mental health crisis or something. She had even forgotten Archer's ex, who was now standing alone, very uncomfortably. 
People stopped their own conversation to witness the drama Rene was making. Victor, after being familiar with Rene's tantrums for decades, just laughed and said, You are still as delusional as before, Rene. I can see why you've been trying to sabotage Archer's relationship as well. That was uncalled for, you know. Don't try to change the topic, Victor. You need to let go of this woman right now. I won't allow you to marry her. Well, it's too late for that now, Rene. We already had a courthouse wedding. All we have left is a religious ceremony after which she will be my real wife. Renee looked like someone had hit her physically. The look of pure shock on her face was truly something to see. She hadn't expected Victor to be so blunt, and she hadn't expected Victor to be married already. This day wasn't going like she had imagined. She had come here to destroy my dreams of having a family with Archer. Instead of her dreams of getting back with Victor had been destroyed. I had no mercy for her. She didn't deserve it from me. Renee was a freaking witch. After Victor hits her with the reality, Renee starts to ugly cry and causes scene. No one was surprised since we were familiar with her behavior. She was desperate to get back with Victor and kept harassing both him and his new girlfriend. She even sought Archer's help to try and make him talk to his dad. She tearfully held Archer and said, Archer, you need to speak to your father. He's breaking my heart. You can't let him do this to me. Dad can do whatever he wants, Mom. There's no way I would interfere with his happiness. Yes, he is happy with his new girlfriend, and it would do you good to get that through your head. Archer, how could you say that to me? Don't you want your parents to get back together? I love your father. Are my feelings invaluable to everyone? Yes, Mom, your feelings are invaluable to me at least. You don't get to make requests from me when you try to casually break up my engagement. You talk about loving Dad, but you don't even know what it is. If you knew, you wouldn't have tried to cause a scene by bringing in my ex. You have no regard for my happiness. Why should I have any for yours? In her frenzy to get back with Victor, Renee has forgotten what she just tried to pull a few minutes back. She may have thought that Archer would let it go now that she is in a vulnerable state, but no. My fiancé showed his shiny spine and told her exactly why she didn't deserve any pity. Renee was still desperate and said, Archer, don't say that, please, I beg you. Okay, fine, I will never ask you to get back with your ex again, please. Just make your dad understand my feelings. Absolutely not, Mom. I'm not like you. I can't destroy people's relationships just because you asked me to. Your apology doesn't even matter anymore. Neither I nor Blair will ever forgive you. Blair, please say that you accept my apology. I swear I will be better. <laughs>
will do my best to make sure you two have a happy marriage. Please just help me have a happy marriage too. I literally laughed at her when Renee asked me for help. She had some nerve coming to me and asking me to get her love back. It was just ironic and bizarre as well. I didn't even know what she had expected to happen. Did she think I would forgive her just like I had all these years? Of course not. I said, I don't want anything to do with you, Renee. I'm happy Victor is moving on from his abusive marriage with you and is now finding his happiness with someone else. Archer, do you hear that? Your stupid fiancé is supporting your father's new marriage. Are you not going to say anything? What do you want me to say, Mom? I agree with her. Dad has found a good life away from you and it has got me thinking. I think it's best if you stay away from us too. We don't even want you at our wedding because of the stunt you pulled today. So consider yourself uninvited from the wedding as well. Renee had thought that she was being smart by planning to ruin my life at the party. Well, instead of that, she ended up getting two big blows that she never saw coming. In a single night, she lost the love of her life and her own son. She absolutely went insane and almost had a mental breakdown. She was causing so much drama that the hosts asked her to leave. She immediately left and Archer's ex awkwardly went away on her own as well. The rest of the party went well and Archer was able to properly introduce his real fiancé, that is me. We had a blast and Victor enjoyed the evening as well. The next few of our days were spent getting Renee off her back as she continued to harass us for help. She tried to break into Victor's house and kept making threats at his girlfriend which ultimately got Renee arrested. She posted bail but now can't go near Victor due to a strong restraining order. She didn't do anything to us so we couldn't file for one but we kept avoiding her and even added security at our wedding. It came in handy because Renee showed up in a white wedding dress and was promptly kicked out.